Yeah, the rapper 8-bit. <laughs> Robot <laughs> pussy increases my RAM capacity. I love uh, watching 8-bit in concert. <laughs> Can you please sing CPU so horny? No. Here on Beer and Board Games, we were fighting for our very lives in the end of the world zombie, zombie apocalypse. apocalypse game. Before the end of the world finally concludes, I would like one more beer. How about a Founders Backwoods Bastard Ale Age in Oak Bourbon Barrels? What a way to go out. Oh. Ooh, I like it. It's chocolatey. This is my favorite kind of beer. I don't know what your problem is. Maybe you have a maybe it's acid a, reflux. Acid reflux. Mm. That's what's happening. I don't want it on my tongue. It's so good. This is horrendous. It's not good. I can't it even. Is not I horrendous. can't even finish this. Beer and board game steins are available once again for a limited time only. DFTBA.com pre-orders are currently being accepted. Get them while they're here, because they'll be gone forever. When last we left off, Beer and Board Games itself was interrupted by a catastrophic event. The live show was canceled because of a zombie apocalypse. We were forced to flee the Beer and Board Games studio, gather the equipment that we could, our dear friend Emery became a zombie and we were forced to kill his ass. We escaped the building. We went to my house. We fed my cats. We got more supplies and now we're on the run. And we killed Dylan. <laughs> we did kill Dylan. No, we didn't kill him. We just pushed him out of the car. <laughs> the zombies killed him. But the last thing that happened was Aaron ran into a group of six zombies by himself. You reached the pack of six bloody zombies. All right. And you begin swinging your bat. Go! Do do good! Is that an assist? He's assisting me. He cannot assist you, he's terrified. <laughs> you get one die, one for the bat, and one for your zombie killing fetish. Line them up. It's like bowling. <laughs> Is that your catchphrase? Yes. <laughs> Three successes. You fucking wail on one of the zombies, breaking his neck. But there's still five of them left, plus that zombie is not oh, quite dead yet. God. Damn. Oh, God. Brad, look. It's zombie Dylan. He's heading right this way. <laughs> oh. Wait, Brad, he stopped. Oh, he's tagging something. <laughs> he's still Dylan. He sure is. Here comes five zombies attacking you. Oh, God. You guys, I'm gonna die. Why don't you help me? One of them connects. With what, though? With its mouth, maybe. We'll see. In the melee, you're not sure what happened, but he, you take one physical stress. He grabs you and goes, <laughs> You guys recover from your fear. What do you do? I don't do anything. I stroke the fan film trophy that George <laughs> Lucas gave us for Chad Vader that I took from the apartment before we left, and I'm trying to comfort myself. <laughs> I'm in the driver's seat, okay, and I see what's happening. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in reverse and back up and wail on the horn. You're surrounded by zombies. But the horn! The horn blares, and it seems to distract some of the zombies. That's true. I'm gonna try to run for cover. I need you to make a dexterity check with two negative dice. You take two physical uh, stress. Oh boy. But you do manage to get past the zombies without getting stopped, and you get into the car. Brad <laughs> slams on the accelerator, going in reverse, and you, you knock over three of the zombies, and one of them's head gets crushed underneath the, the rear tires yes. of Aaron's car. Bitchin! So you peel out of there, where are you going? I'm going to my house. Oh, we're never gonna make it. I Why are you taking us to your house, Brad? Because of my dog. Your dog's gonna be fine. Not The true. zombies will break in and eat it. <laughs> That's not fine. We should go to the old Oscar Mayer building. Nobody's in there. That's not a bad idea. What a fortress. We're going to my house first, and then we will go there. Dylan pops up right in front of the car. I don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> I reach out of the window and grab his marker out of his hand. <laughs> you begin to navigate the treacherous streets of Madison. People are not paying attention to road signs and street lights. We are in the midst of the Great Panic, uh, which is what you would call it in World War Z. Parlance. I took 6th Street to Winnebago to Milwaukee to Leon. 
and now the world knows where you live. <laughs> Leon's two blocks long. <laughs> we are at Brad's house. Yeah, I'm thinking we should switch to the Jeep Cherokee. <laughs> Why don't we take two cars? Huh? You and the dog will ride in the, in okay. the Jeep, and the two of us will do our thing. Should that I grab anything? I'm at, I actually have a functioning mini crossbow with uh, metal darts. Your front door has been broken open. Where's my dog? Shred lightly here. I will. Sh your shred, dog. Shred lightly. Uh, you hear it barking <laughs> as uh, you walk into the house. I'm going to arm my crossbow and carefully creep to the bedroom. The first thing you notice is there's some blood on the carpet. Okay. That's normal. That happens to him every time he creeps into his bedroom. Except there's no carpet, which is weird. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why no. is there carpet? <laughs> Why? Why is there carpet there in my a, room? There is a dead carpet salesman okay. in your bedroom, his throat torn out by the dog. That or asshole human. installed carpet in my bedroom. <laughs> I grab her and her food, and I take her into the Jeep. She rips your throat out. <laughs> a teenager walks up to the car with a gun. Get out of the car. It's out of gas. It's not going to help you. Make a charisma check. You're trying to convince him that your car is out of gas. Yeah, you're, you're lying to him, basically. And that right. it cannot be driven. Oh. Oh. I never succeeded and I got lots of negatives. The stress of having a gun pointed at you for the first time in your life uh -huh. uh, gives you two points of social stress. Get out of the fucking car! And I'm walking back to the car and I see this. You oh, see yeah. this. Yes. Yeah, save me. Sneak up. Save me. I got my golf club. Make a dexterity check. I'll give you plus one because. Dexterity? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, they cancel. For slam that door in the bitch. All right, you open the door and you slam it into him. We're gonna have to do a, uh, a contest to see who goes first. All a right? dance contest. So this is gonna be a dexterity <laughs> check. <laughs> a contest I will win because I am so dope. You guys actually can nominate one person to make this check. Dexterity. That's me. Aaron. Oh, I got a success. Oh, oh I got an even better success. So did you. Either I can get out and point a fake gun at him, or I can just kill him. Kill his ass. We'll both, we'll curb stomp him. Matt and I know that the best thing to do is to kill teenagers. They don't mm -hmm. like being alive anyway, because they're having a lot of problems and mm -hmm. issues. And they're trying to steal our shit. That's one success. Woo! That's all I needed. Okay. Ding dong ding. So you do three damage. Yeah. What do you do, Matt? I jump on him and... I just maul his ass <laughs> with your golf club. Slave with my golf club. I need some ones. Mm. Mm. I need some ones. Boink, boink. Oh, what the oh, hell? Shit. That's amazing. You're, you should be a golfer. So he is at six wounds. The teenager is going to shoot at one of you. One, Aaron, two, three. Bing bong. The bullet grazes you on your shoulder, and you feel blood pouring down and making your I arm just feel, wet. And warm. I just feel like a man now. And the pain is making your pussy wet, because that's how freaky you are. I'm like a female uh, man. I'm like, <laughs> you're a female. <laughs> <laughs> that, that looks pretty good. That looks like three successes. Three successes. Oh. Minus two is three. He's dead. Smack. I feel no remorse. I laugh and dance around this corpse, <laughs> and I I yell, "Yeah, bitch, we're in our forties." <laughs> And your teenage ass is dead. You have muscular dystrophy. Uh, okay. <laughs> I wish I'd had more drinks. Drink that Jizzy White awesomeness every <laughs> night. We have a toast here from Stephanie who says that Bob is turning 27 and she thinks that he would really like a birthday shout out from you guys. Happy birthday, Bob. Happy, Happy birthday, Bob. 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 Oh, Bob, I remember when you crawled over that sofa back in 1990. You scared me so much on the TV there. Happy birthday. Bob, I remember when you were the king of the, the Seven Kingdoms, and then you went on a hunting trip, and you got killed by a wild boar. Bob Baratheon. <laughs> Good old Bob Baratheon. Bobby B. Bob yeah. Baratheon. He's Bob Baratheon. I'm Bob Baratheon, I am. Bob Baratheon, I am, I, I am. am. I was gored by a boar in the woods. <laughs> that boar was no good, and everyone <laughs> called me Baratheon. Never called me Bobby or Lang. Bob, I'm the Bob. real Bob, the Baratheon. <laughs> Bob Baratheon, I am. <laughs> Ba 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 
again. We finish gloating over the corpse of the teenage boy. Indeed. And I think we're ready to hit the road. Where are we heading? So the Oscar Mayer plant here in Madison has been abandoned now for a while, and they haven't figured out what to do with it. There's not going to be anybody there. It's going to be a huge building. Not a lot of doors and windows, lots yeah. of places to hide. Giant factory. And there's probably still some sausage left there. Could be. You guys are not the first people to have the idea to come to this place. A pack of hipsters actually surrounding the entire Oscar Mayer Wiener place. All we got to do is prove our coolness levels to these hipsters and they'll let us in. No problem, because I'm so dope. Damn, you we're done. Are so we're I will this. yell that I have a craft cocktail. These hipsters are armed with broken beer bottles from small microbreweries. From Carbon 4. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yep. Here we go. So I got two successes. All right, and then two social stress. I think he convinced them. He did. What do you say to these hipsters? I've already succeeded. Yes, you have. So this is what I say. <laughs> anything. And he says, grab cocktail. <laughs> it, it, doesn't, it doesn't affect anything. Right. <laughs> they roll out the red carpet. <laughs> As we're driving in, I go. <laughs> All of a sudden, a SWAT police vehicle, uh -oh. followed by two regular cop cars, slam in to some of the hipsters. SWAT team members and cops pour out of the vehicles and begin to surround the protesters. That. Can we just drive away? And yeah, fuck this. Let's, we get out of here. We can't fight a bunch right. of cops and SWATs. Yeah, there's an employee entrance in back because I used to drive cab often oh, to this knows. factory. You guys uh, go towards the employee entrance. Mm -hmm. And uh, about halfway there, you start hearing the sounds of automatic weapon Fire. The sounds of exploding craft beer bottles uh, that have been made into makeshift Molotov cocktails. The hipsters small, are fighting back. A small <laughs> war is brewing between the hipsters of Madison and the Madison police force. Police be tripping. Okay, Bradley Cooper. What jizz is where I was. Bradley Cooper, the super the trooper, trooper, trooper trooper. He poops and troops and poops and floops. If you want to see this show live and uncut and uncensored, you can go to live.beerandboard.com and you can see the live streams that we've done from over the years. And there's stuff on there that you won't believe. So check that out. This war has oh. drawn the attention of all the living dead in Madison. They're all converging on oh. the Oscar Mayer Wiener factory. You need to pick a side. The I police... side with The Walking Dead. <laughs> I side with the craft beer. We say fuck it and we leave and we don't side with anyone. Aaron. Yeah? You got bit by a zombie. What? Remember the zombie that he oh, ran the six zombies? Yeah, the six they zombies. Did a physical. Yeah. You can keep that a secret if you want from yeah, these two. Definitely. You rat bastard. Keeping them secret. You I'm do not have much secret. time before you turn. I'm gonna kill both of them. <laughs> he's hiding it from us. I don't know what you're talking about. He's a coward. I'm fine. Look at this face. I'm fine. Yeah. Look Co at this face. I feel great. The face of cowardice. I feel great. The face of cowardice. <laughs> get that tongue, I'll grab it. Get that tongue. Get, get it, get <laughs> that tongue. tongue. Get it. Get that tongue! Me, the drinker, has a suggestion. We yep. could go to the Ale Asylum Brewery. That's and we a pretty could good building. That over. Oh yeah, that's where I want to end it. I mean, uh, you know, uh, do this. Hey, why are you Let's sweating see. so much? Uh, it was it was really hot. It's so hot. You don't, don't I'm you, fine. I'm don't actually. Don't I have a? Oh, I'm a little chilly. A zombie jumps in front of your Prius. And the Prius. Boogity, <laughs> Okay, I did it. You avoided it, but you guys make it to the Ale Asylum and the place, for the most part, is empty. I am pouring myself a tall mug a of tall mug. Ale Asylum beer. Man, it's hardly the time to pour a tall Every frosty Every time mug. is a, the time. We've Shut got up. to shack this place up so we don't get- I will yeah. beat you with my golf club. I'm gonna get all this stuff out of my car. I'm gonna secure all the doors on the floor of the Ale Asylum. Mm -hmm. Me and Turtle go up to the balcony mezzanine. You are taking your sweet time cleaning your Prius out. No, I ain't, uh, I just get right in. <laughs> when all of a sudden you hear a familiar voice. Dylan. Dylan? Dylan's dead. 
I or stole the marker from him. Or so him. we thought. Oh, he pushed grabbed him out of the onto car. the bottom of the Prius and has held on He's the entire way. way. It's fucking Cape Fear style? <laughs> I pull out the marker. I show it to him, and I use charisma to convince him to go and start tagging the walls. Make a charisma check. No negative dice, because you've dealt with his shit for so long. You got this. Bing! Oh, yeah. Bing! He stands up, dusts his bee costume <laughs> off, <laughs> takes the marker out of your hand, and begins shambling over. News. <laughs> <laughs> Did he have the bee costume on before? No. No, he, he changed. changed. Wow. And he's on me. Aaron. Yeah. You find death in <laughs> the corner. Are we drinking together? I guess. I examine him for bites. You <laughs> can't examine me for bites. I can do whatever I want. Oh, I want to kick Matt. Okay. Is it time for the end? Yes. I'm going to tell you truthfully right now. Okay. I got bit. I club his head in. I want to end this dignified. Okay. Aaron. Okay. Pour me a shot. Suddenly. <laughs> a horrific otherworldly sound, unlike anything you've heard, even tonight. The sound of a massive, otherworldly fucking being just screaming. You don't know what it is, but it freaks you the fuck out. Anybody who didn't make a success kind of pisses yourself a little bit. Ah. Uh, I am dry. I am dry. I am moist. <laughs> <laughs> so you see it. Great Cthulhu rises out of one of the lakes. Oh my, oh my god. god. This is the end of the world, Wrath of the Gods. My reaction is like, yes! <laughs> it's real! That horrible racist guy was right. <laughs> All the shit I've seen today, I could care less. If I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die <laughs> now. Aaron. I'm on the roof. Whoops. You turn. I whack his head with a shovel. I have my golf club. He's in the throes of turning, and I have to drop on him. That's a three positive dice. Unfortunately, since he is your friend, and you've worked with him for many, many years, yeah, that's right. two negative you dice. You know you're gonna feel is, that is way. I'll be so happy when it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. That's not true. I just wouldn't have a problem clubbing your head in. If you were a zombie. Yeah. <laughs> if I was a zombie. If I was a zombie. All day long I'd bid it. I was a zombie. All right, here I go with my bad dexterity. I'm gonna get killed. You got it, bro. You got it. I believe in you. You got it, bro. Wow! Yes. So you managed to hit him with your golf club, despite all odds. You have zombie stats. Give me the zombie stats. Okay, baby. Here zombie you go. stats. <laughs> zombie <laughs> stats. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that song? Leonard Cohen. Mind shattering terror. Boy. A character <laughs> must make a willpower test with seven negative dice. Definitely. Wow. Uh, so those three cancel each yep, other out. Uh, yeah. So you go insane. I don't want any more dice rolling or anything like that. Okay. I want you to end the story. You tell us what happens to us. Matt fights bravely against zombie Aaron. And with luck and with drunken resolve, he managed to finally, at the end, smash Aaron's skull in with his trusty golf club. Can I smash a skull in with the Lucas Trophy? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. <laughs> Smashes it in with the Lucas Trophy. C-3PO's face is covered in Aaron's brains. <laughs> right at your moment of great triumph, Brad walks into the room and with his crossbow, fires a single bolt into Matt's brain. Oh. Brad and Turtle live happily ever after, Yay. serving great Cthulhu. Yeah. <laughs> as he brings the end times to the great world. Folks, we had a good time tonight. Stay away from Matt. He'll club you with your own trophy. Yep. Cthulhu for the Hagen, Flash of Hagen, Flash of Hagen. I learned that Cthulhu is a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> we hope that this apocalyptic tale didn't scare you too much because the world didn't really end. It was just our show. And you can come and watch another episode of it next week. We would love to have you. We hope to see you then. Good night. A uh, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Thank you.
Why is there carpet? <laughs> meatball is back. Good old meatball. <laughs> meatball. Don't call me meatball. Are you serious? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll call you a dashy. A dashy's <laughs> even worse. <laughs> 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 